Let us consider a small example. Me, Ram, Raj and Priya have the following friendship structure. This is called a friendship network. This looks very easy given that there are only 4 people. What if there were hundreds of people? The network would look something like this. Quite complicated. Why would one study such a network? Well, although it appears complicated, it has very nice emergent properties. And most of the times, these properties are very counterintuitive. Let me try illustrating one such property. Here is a question. Do you think I know Obama? Probably not. Do you think I know someone who knows Obama? Maybe not. But do you think I know someone who knows someone who knows someone who knows Obama? Maybe yes. It is known that any two people in the world are away from each other on an average of six friendships. Which means you actually know Angelina Jolie in just six friendship links. This is true of any two people. Now, isn't it surprising that a big world with around 7 billion people have any two people separated by a mere six links? A big world yet so small. This is called the small world phenomena. Let us consider yet another example. There is a very interesting network of web pages that nobody created with any intent. Every time a web page is made, it generally has links to other web pages. Right? You have a web page that points to some other web page in the form of hyperlink. Assume we collected all such links between all the web pages present in the world. Of what use is such data? The birth of Google search engine lies in harnessing the potential of such a network. This is called the web graph. Larry Page and Sergey Brin used this data to create a search engine which was the birth of an industry which is today worth $450 billion. While it is interesting to study networks, one reason why it stays complicated lies in the fact that there is huge complexity hidden even in a very small network. For example, a set of friends can have the total number of friendships on them can be more than the atoms in the universe. This calls for clever ways of analyzing such big data. Our course will mainly comprise of 10 great ideas in this field. We will go one idea per week on an average. There will be a whole lot of hands-on sessions where I'll be showing how one can make use of some of the open source tools to analyze networks that are available as data sets online. My lectures will not go beyond 20 minutes duration. It typically has the following structure. We first start with an interesting question, which is a good motivation to study the underlying concept. After understanding the question, we further discuss the importance of solving it. After which, we'll go about seeing how one can solve it and we will end the summary of what was discussed so far. I hope and I will try to ensure that you all enjoy the 10 great ideas in social networks. Thank you.